Lee. Lawrence, how you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? Great, man. I'm I'm fueled up on adrenal factors. You are. And my joints are quite fluid without inflammation with curcumin and bioprene. <laughs> nice. Nice little one too. Kabam. <laughs> so you've got the formula and you're already using it? Oh man, I'm living on it. This it's uh I tell you, the the formula is everything that the science and research that we endeavored into was supposed to provide us. The outcome, this is the best energy enhancer I have ever taken for an adrenal formula. I've never taken anything like it. It's incredible. How quickly did you could you tangibly feel a difference? The first day, I, I felt it the first day. But I'm going to say at by the end of the week, I'm like, my entire energy level has has just, the bar has been raised. I'm, I'm so happy with it. So happy. I want to thank you for having me make it because I wasn't focused on adrenal function at all. I was focused on thyroid gland and mm -hmm. thyroid function mm -hmm. as mission control for our hormone production. I wasn't, I completely missed the adrenal gland and ad adrenal exhaustion, adrenal fatigue issue. And it wasn't until the formula was done and I decided to try it. This was, must have been close to a week ago. I noticed immediately mm -hmm. a difference. I felt it probably within two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. I took it um, along with my herbal mail. I went for my morning cardio. And I noticed immediately that a calm came over me but it didn't affect my performance in a negative way. I was like a smooth running machine mm -hmm. doing my workout. And I noticed throughout the day I had more energy, but it was a, a different kind of, it wasn't a jittery energy. It was no. a calm, cool. I, I've never been such a smooth operator. Definitely. It's, it's a, a, a very solid energy. Uh, right now, uh, when, I, when I finish my day, I, I go out uh, to the ranch, work on the ranch, put in some real hard hours, which I, I'd love to do it. You know, I'm like you are. I like to break that sweat and put my body in a bind. I love it. And uh, I, I'm, I have this fluid energy, and the sun's going down, and I'm going like, wow, why does the sun have to go down? I want to keep going. Exactly. The mm -hmm. same thing happened to me. I'm normally exhausted by 4 or 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I need to get home, I need to eat, and I need to get into bed. That's my program. And I didn't feel that. I haven't been feeling that. And one of the telltale signs of adrenal fatigue is waking up tired after a full night's sleep. And I give myself as much sleep as I want. I don't use an alarm clock. I get at least a total between my nap and my normal sleep of probably eight or nine hours and i have been waking up tired lately and i just kept thinking maybe there's something wrong with my thyroid and i thought i had it covered i take my armor thyroid every morning i take my um iodine i take my real salt my diet is clean um i'm training i'm doing everything right how could my thyroid still have a problem and i wasn't even looking at my adrenals and within three days of being on the formula I noticed I was starting to feel like my old self again when I woke up in the morning. I wasn't tired anymore. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you. I never would have, in a million years, I never would have taken anything. Well, nothing like this existed, but I never would have even thought about making something like this. So I want right. to thank you for the oh, inspiration. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, because it was, uh, once again, uh, doing this formula with you. Uh, this is a lot of fun because we're thinking outside the box. We're doing things no company has ever done produced or even thought about combining these ingredients at this purity this potency nobody's thought about doing this now that no. that's your baby right there because you, you are so into these high potency therapeutic levels of each of these herbs that's that's your department of expertise and the best forms which changes mm -hmm. the, so there are two issues one is the quantity, and the more you put in, of course, the more expensive the formula gets, but there's also which ingredient do we use. And when it comes to herbs, 
oftentimes in these formulas, they don't use standardized extracts. And mm-hmm. herb powders are relatively economical. Most of them are under $10 a kilo. A kilo is 2.2 pounds, so you can imagine how many capsules you can make with that. So a standard herb is not expensive, but we don't know how much of the active ingredient is in there. And so the key is to not only put in a good amount of the herb, but also to use a standardized extract, the best standardized extract, and one that's been tested by HPLC, and then putting in the full amount. So when you combine both of those, and then you take not just that one, but you take the top five and you Mm -hmm. put them together in one master formula, there's no one doing that because they know their raw material costs are going to be five times, ten times higher than their target. Their target, we talked about this recently when you were dealing with formulators and they shook their head when you wanted them to make it better because they told you without any shame at all that they need to sell this for ten times cost. So how can you put eight dollars worth of ingredients into a bottle that they would need to sell to a store for eighty dollars and no one would wind up buying that from the store. So from a business standpoint it's not practical and that's the reason why you don't see products like this, but going in a little bit into um, what this, what adrenal factors are, what is, what are adrenal glands? Um, we're all familiar with adrenaline. It's the fight or flight hormone. But what are adrenal glands? Well, they're small gl- glands on each of our kidneys that secrete hormones to keep us in balance as we respond to stress. The more stress we're under, the harder our adrenal glands have to work to shield us. And in addition to adrenaline, cortisol is the most well-known hormone. Uh, As we experience more and more stress, the body increases cortisol production to protect us. But there is a breaking point. At some point, our adrenal glands can't make any cortisol, uh, can't make any more cortisol. So what do we do? Um, Most Americans respond by consuming more caffeine to rev themselves up, which is not a good idea. That's like borrowing money from a loan shark. You know, we have to pay it back with plenty of interest. And how do you know when you have it? Well, here are some common symptoms of adrenal exhaustion. Dizziness when standing up, fatigue, low blood sugar, mood and memory problems. This is starting to sound a bit like thyroid disorders, Mm -hmm. which makes sense. That's our mission control for hormones. Um, Muscle, back, leg, and arm pain. Cravings for caffeine, salt, and sugar, feeling cold, and here's one that I was experiencing, waking up tired after a full night's sleep. Mm -hmm. And physicians, same with thyroid uh, problems, physicians are not doing a good job catching this disorder. Doctors, if they even test, which they usually, I've never had a doctor even bring this up with me, but if they do test, they generally test our blood for cortisol levels, which is not accurate. A saliva test is more accurate. And with the saliva test, they take four samples over the course of a day. And low morning cortisol levels are common with people with adrenal exhaustion. That may be why we're waking up tired after a full night's sleep. There are, excuse me, there are illnesses and medications that can cause adrenal exhaustion in in addition to stress. High cortisol levels from chronic stress before adrenal exhaustion develops also create problems in the body. So this is what happens as we're stressed out, cortisol level starts ramping up to protect us. We're flooded with cortisol. And one of the problems with that is it dampers our ability to make DHEA. We need DHEA to make other hormones like testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. High cortisol levels also increase blood sugar levels. They increase the LDL form of cholesterol, which leads to diseases. High high cortisol levels joined with high insulin levels increase belly fat. And to some degree, high cortisol levels block the active form of thyroid hormone. So these are issues dealt with before adrenal exhaustion, before we get to the point where our our adrenal glands can't even produce cortisol anymore. This is when we're flooded with it producing too much. Everything has a breaking point. At some point, the adrenal glands become exhausted and our cortisol levels drop off. We need some cortisol. We need a healthy level. 
uh, not enough cortisol and we can't defend against stress, so we need some. But in the long run, adrenal exhaustion will weaken the body's response to infection. It can also start chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, and it may increase the risk of cancer. And so how do we protect ourselves from this? Uh, well, nutritional support, here's some nutritional support for adrenal function. And some of these I didn't include in the formula intentionally because I think people should be getting these already in their supplements. I think people should already be taking a high quality multivitamin, multimineral formula. I think it's the smartest thing someone can do. I think it's the first supplement that people should go to. Um, but here's some of the nutrients that we need. B vitamins, especially pantothenic acid, vitamin C, zinc, all of these we should be getting in our diet or and or, like in my case, and or in a high quality multivitamin, multimineral formula, the phosphatidylserine that we mentioned, which we have separately, 500 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine a few times a day, we have that available separately. But those are key nutrients that are not in the formula that are helpful. These are the ones that we chose to focus on. Holy basil, Holy Basil's name, Tulsi, translates to the incomparable one. It's the most sacred plant in the Hindu religion. Our Holy Basil extract is HPLC tested for 2.5% or solic acid. Holy Basil, not to be confused with sweet basil, which is used for culinary purposes, has a smell that protects people in India. It keeps away insects that typically spread disease like mosquitoes and flies. So in nature, these compounds defend the herb from hungry insects and invasive bacteria and fungi. So it's no surprise that they can help protect us as well. And here are some of its beneficial effects. Anti-stress, anti-diabetic, glycemic and lowering, glycemic lowering properties. And they've shown this in animal studies, animal studies. Mice were used in a study that showed holy basil lowers cortisol and glucose levels. Holy basil reduces glucose levels in both normal and diabetic lab animals. A study showed holy basil helps protect against the stress of chronic exposure to noise. A study with holy basil showed significant increases in HDL cholesterol and decreases in total LDL cholesterol, phospholipids, and tri tri triglyceride levels. In cell culture and animal studies, basil has been found to show antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, antioxidant, and anti-cancer activity. Holy basil has powerful antioxidant properties. And I think we're all familiar with the term antioxidants and how they work, but in case people aren't familiar with how they work, antioxidants are effective at protecting cells from damage by reactive oxygen species. Reac reactive oxygen species can accumulate in the body and contribute to cell membrane as well as DNA damage. When we have high levels of reactive oxygen species without enough antioxidants to counter them, DNA has a much harder time keeping things under control. Cells will start to proliferate uncontrollably and resist normal cell death, which is called apoptosis. Cells uncontrolled reproduction and failure to die are hallmarks of the early stages of cancer. So that's the first ingredient, holy basil. Then we use rhodiola rosea. Our rhodiola rosea extract is HPLC tested for 3% rosevins. It's also considered an adaptogen, means that, which means it helps us adapt to stress. Um, the third is ashwagandha. ashwagandha root, our ashwagandha root extract is HPLC tested for 5% with analytes. And it's been used in India for thousands of years. Ashwagandha compared compares well with ginseng in its adaptogenic properties. They've done animal studies with countless animal studies with ashwagandha in its adaptogenic anti-stress properties have been shown to increase stamina and prevent stress inducing gastric ulcer and mortality in animals. When animals were subjected to cold water swimming, it didn't stress them as much when they were on ashwagandha. They swam faster and twice as long as the control group. They also had better adrenal cortisol, and vitamin C levels after the stress. Next ingredient is maca. It's native to Peru. Maca has been associated with many health benefits, including improved stamina, enhanced fertility, 
Maca is also an adaptogen herb used for adrenal imbalances. It's normally sold as a root powder and not a standardized extract. As a matter of fact, until you had us create this formula, I didn't even know there was an active ingredient. In all my years, even using maca, it's even in one of probably my favorite formula, herbal male, I just got the best maca I could find, which was organic Peruvian maca from the best supplier. I didn't know that there was an active ingredient that it could be standardized to until we created this formula. Went the, excuse me, went the extra mile and our maca root is HPLC tested for 0.6% glucosinolates. Uh, the next ingredient is, the final ingredient is astragalus. It's one of the most popular energy herbs in Asia for people with highly active lifestyles. It's very powerful and you can feel its effects within minutes. Our astragalus extract is HPLC tested for 0.8% astragaluside. So those are all the ingredients in full doses and in the best standardized extracts available together in one bottle. It's extremely effective. <clears throat> now, th those are all in therapeutic doses. Correct. No token or trace amounts, which nope. is what most companies will do if they do use expensive ingredients, which they don't normally, but if they use an expensive ingredient, if they use phosphatidylserine or if they use lycopene, for example, you'll notice that they won't even say the word lycopene. They'll say um, tomato extract, and then they'll put in a token amount, you know, or one milligram or something that doesn't do anything because they know the public is aware of how valuable and important these nutrients are. They recognize it on the label, and that's good enough for most people. They just don't know that one milligram isn't going to do anything and that, you know, lycopene you want to put in 20 milligrams, but nobody does that. We have a prostate formula that has 20 milligrams of lycopene per serving. I don't know of any company in the world that puts in the full no. therapeutic 20 milligram amount per serving. Nobody does. It's a thousand dollars a kilo, so they don't want to put it in, but that's how much the research shows people should take. So in addition to chronic stress, a poor diet can lead to adrenal problems. So we want to avoid refined salt, refined sugar, and refined carbohydrates. I think most people are familiar with refined sugar and refined carbohydrates, but I don't think most people are aware of refined salt. I think they just think of salt as salt. I know I always did before I got educated and found out that there's refined salt and then there's real, natural, unrefined salt, which looks different, it tastes different, it's, it tastes much better, it usually has a color, it's usually gray or pink, and it's actually great for you. I use about a teaspoon a day of real unrefined salt. I like Celtic salt. Um, I love the taste, and it's actually great for our body, even though most healthcare professionals say it's not. Uh, refined foods in general, I don't eat any. Um, I'd suggest try stevia as a sweetener instead of sugar. I haven't used sugar in years. There's no need to anymore. Uh, stevia is all natural. It has no calories. And we offer a bottle of pure stevia, which contains 750 servings for under $30. It'll probably last six months to a year, even if you use it every day. So there's no reason to even use sugar anymore. And all the other stevia products I've seen on the market are over 95% filler. Mm -hmm. Stevia is so concentrated that they just blend it with, you know, 98, 99% maltodextrin. Uh, what we've done is we've just taken pure stevia and then I found a tiny scoop it's a 33rd of a teaspoon and you just take a tiny scoop of stevia and it has the same sweetness as a heaping tablespoon of sugar so I put that in my espresso I put that I cook with that anything I want sweetened I can make sweet naturally without calories and without sugar um, we need vitamins and minerals for adrenal hormone production we spoke about that earlier mm -hmm. protein and fiber are critical Beans hit both, and they're my go-to protein source with my primarily vegan diet. I soak them overnight uh, with Lindbergh's Organic Wild Rice Blend and make a big pot of stew with organic local vegetables and spices. I seal up about half and put it in the freezer, and I eat the other half over the course of the next few days. That way I only have to make it once a week, and I have plenty of protein. I've done quite a bit of research on this, and it's funny when you ask vegans or vegetarians what the best protein sources, they'll give you <laughs> funny answers like avocados or <laughs> things that don't have any protein in them at all. It's almost like they don't know what 
protein is or what foods protein is in. But protein, the highest level in a plant-based diet, which we're all leaning toward now, the, there's no question about it. The highest protein content are in beans, and I eat tons of them. Uh, pintos, garbanzos. Garbanzo beans are the highest plant-based protein food there is. Uh, rice has approximately 5 grams of protein per cup. Beans have approximately 15 grams. So if you eat them together, you can have a complete protein. And if you eat a little over a cup of rice, or rather a little over a cup of beans with a cup of rice, you get 25 grams of protein, which is the same amount of protein as found in a chicken breast, combining legumes, beans, and rice. Mm -hmm. And plain brown rice I haven't found to be that good but there's a company and by the way when I mention companies like Lindbergh's Wild uh, Organic Rice Mix or, or um, Armor Thyroid I don't have any connection there's no financial agreement I don't have any connection with any of these companies these are just organizations or companies that I've benefited from and I want other people to know about so in the morning I take my greens and make a big smoothie and then other than that I like to um to steam my locally grown organic vegetables. So that's the primary base of my diet. Some sort of organic beans and organic wild rice, which is the only thing I've found that can give me a high protein level, and then a lot of vegetables and some fruit. Now, you, you, uh, eat, uh, you eat eggs and fish. I, I don't eat eggs. Mm -hmm. um, I do eat... What, I was a vegan for two years, mm -hmm. and I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like the way I felt. I was losing a lot of strength. And after actually talking to you, you inspired me to start eating some wild meat. So mm -hmm. I started introducing one serving of wild venison um, a day, and I noticed a, a huge difference, and I've stayed with that. So now nice. I'm 100% vegan except one serving of a special type of meat a day, either a wild venison, a wild caught fish, like a wild salmon, or tuna, or albacore is generally still wild caught, or some type of very special meat, meaning all natural, drug free, 100% um, grass fed, and that's another tricky area. Sometimes they'll tell you that the meat's grass fed. Well, all meat is grass fed. The problem is the end of the animal's life. They switch to grain and corn to fatten them up and double their size because the beef purveyors are paid by the pound. And if they can bulk up the animal, they make more money. The problem is it makes the animal sick, and then it makes us sick. So it's better to find, even though it costs a lot more, it's better to find one that's grass fed all through its life, all the way to the finish. And it's generally about double the price, unfortunately. But so I'll treat myself to one serving a day of that. But that's it. That's the only animal product, um, one serving of that a day. That's the only animal protein I'm taking in. So the only way to keep that muscular size on is to eat a lot of beans. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, well, yeah. so Kath, yeah. we're we're uh, we're coming up to the conclusion of the program today. And uh, just I, I kind of wanted to wrap things up by saying that the adrenal factors is uh, th there's no other formula that I know of anywhere in America like it. Therapeutic dosages. And I think also the uh, that addition of the maca, which is you were talking about, it's an endocrinal adaptogenic. It'll not only lift up the adrenals, but also help lift up the thyroid with pituitary. It'll lift up every part of the endocrine system. Uh, which yeah. is, you know, characteristic uh, of maca, in including testes and ovaries too. I mean, it just it lifts up all the endocrine system. Great for the heart, great for the mind. But uh, the therapeutic uh, maca extract that you put in it, you can't even get that in a maca extract pill on the market. No, no, I haven't seen it. No, can't. We've already researched it. So this therapeutic extract formula adrenal factors this is literally the most cutting edge most advanced adrenal formula for energy without giving you the jitters you're not going to be shaken jittery you're not going to have the collapse when you get tired it's the best formula on the market today yeah it actually does the opposite because in the morning when i take the espresso in my herbal mail i'm so charged up that i am on the edge of that almost going too far with mm -hmm. energy jittery feeling and I noticed from the first time I took 
uh, adrenal factors, it had the opposite effect. It had a calming effect, mm -hmm. but it didn't reduce my performance. It actually, it day by day, was increasing my performance. So if you feel calm, so you would think you wouldn't have as much energy, but you do. It's a calm energy. Nice. Well, Lawrence, once again, thank you. Thank you for uh, working on this formula. I mean, we, we have teamed up to build these formulas, and thank you. It's, it's been really a pleasure uh, putting this advanced science into a bottle. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. I have to tip my hat to you on this one and really thank you for turning me on to the subject and, and the ingredients. And It's already changed my life, and it's only been a week. So nice. thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Nice. Well, thank you, Lawrence. Nature's purest uh, is the best. HPLC tested, and, <laughs> and thank you for everything you're doing. My pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Bye bye. And that was Lawrence from Nature's Purest, who we partnered with, and we're making formulas now. And uh, what, what a what a privilege to be able to get with a, a gentleman that has this integrity in everything that he does.